大家好，我是苏建，我在厦门 ，the coast city of 厦门 ，here in Fujian Province. Some people have been there, waiting photos taken there. I love this city. I came here on holiday for the first time recently. I、uh, went to Guolangyu, took a stroll down Maojie, even went to Nanjing Pulau, and I think this city might be the coolest, most laid-back city I've ever been to in China. Maybe even in the whole world. It's so cool. I really do believe that. So I'm back because I love it. But look at this place. Look, look how beautiful it is. Got this beautiful lake here. Got lovely coffee shops over there. Such a nice pace to life here in Siam. It has previously won the UN Habitat Award. This is Yundang Hu or Yundang Lake. A perfect example to explain how green the city is. It's now something of a hidden jewel here in the city, where people come to relax, unwind, exercise. You got people going to the coffee shops that have popped up alongside the lake, and also lots of photographers come here to take photos of Bai Lu or egrets, which is the symbol of Xiamen. Although I haven't seen one yet, let's go find some. Can see some over there on the bank. It's beautiful. Those in the tree look absolutely magnificent. Oh, there's one flying in. Oh, wow! That islet out there in the middle of the water is known as Bai Lu Dao or Egret Island because. Hundreds and hundreds of egrets live on the island. However, in order to protect the Bai Lu or egrets, tourists cannot actually visit that little island. But we've spoken to the people in charge of the lake, and they've said no, no. They, they said no, no. That makes sense. Yeah, protect the birds. Yeah, I'll just look at them from from afar. And this is one of the. The mangrove forests planted in the lake, and just ahead of me, actually, is a, a man who looks like he spends a lot of time looking at the bai lu or egrets from afar. Let's go interrupt him. Sensei, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can I talk to you? Can I? 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 Can 快三十年了，哇塞！那个时候到现在，这湖有什么变化？之前是什么样？在二三十年前可不是这样子一个情况。那时候这个地方好多的工厂，盐湖这边都是工厂，这边都是工厂，有做蜜饯的，做饮料的，机械的，机床厂、锻鸭厂都往沟里面排，沟里面就排到这个湖里面去。你想想的就都臭死啊！我想不到，当时觉得很难受啊，因为蹲在那里拍的味道很臭，先鸟也很怕我们，嗯，眼练看到我们就跑了，离的有时候一百米它。飞走了，那现在不会了。现在我们在这边扎狗啊，拍鸟，有时候像我们两个这么近，他都不啊。我看了，一直就飞到人旁边。对呀、啊，他不怕人的。那个时候，如果有人跟你说了三十年后云南湖会这样，你相信吗？我们知道政府有在治理的，因为这种生态的破坏是很长很长的时间，治理呢也要很长很长的时间，花很多钱、很多时间、很多精力。我们真的很难想象说变成现在这样子一个地方。So how? Did Yundang Hu go from a lake that was once full of sewage to a lake that looks like this? Well, it didn't happen overnight. It's taken over 30 years of environmental work. The measures include putting a total stop to the discharge of sewage, dredging the lake, building up the banks, planting mangrove forests in the water, and also now the lake is connected to the sea. And that's achieved by building floodgates. On the dikes. That's a floodgate right there behind me. So this collects seawater during high tide and drains water during low tide. So the once very stagnant lake is now very much alive, and that has led to the return of the lake's eco marine system, including a number of rare species and some small sharks that have returned, turtles and Zhonghua Hu or Chinese horseshoe crabs. Of course, the work required to keep Yunnan Hu, looking so pristine, hasn't stopped. That work is carried out on a daily basis by a group of people known as Shimi Hu Zhang or Citizen Lake Chiefs. So I contacted Yunnan Hu Bahu Zhongxin, the Yunnan Lake Protection Centre, and asked if I could be a lake chief for a day. And they said, "No, you don't know anything," which is true.、Um, but they did say I could talk to a lake chief and ask him about. What the job entails. So let's go find him. 
。站在我旁边这位先生就是云南湖的湖长，市民市民湖长，怎么称呼您？我叫陈亚进，陈老师你好，我是施建国。湖长日常工作是什么样的？主要的工作职责就是巡湖，发现问题，及时跟相关部门反馈。那我看了这里有一些人钓鱼，我们设置了两个规定的垂钓期，所以如果别的地方有人钓鱼，不行，就不行不行我们要去制止，<笑>哎，让他们都到那个垂钓期里面来垂钓。还会有一些志愿者帮你做，对我们还有两百来个志愿者。我们现在施行的理念就是，人人都是志愿者，不是说我规定的时间内你是志愿者。我踏上公园的这一刻，我就是公园的主人。所以，如果我想当志愿者的话，我我就可以，是不是？对，只要人人的心里面有一个我是志愿者，我们的环境就会更美。People queue up for a boat ride over there. Might do that later. So you've already seen that the businesses have popped up alongside the lake, all those boutique coffee shops and restaurants. And then we've got these places all around the lake, little parks, very nicely manicured, uh, all linked together. And they're a perfect place on the weekend for locals here in Salmon to come and enjoy Salmon. Just a perfect little places. Oh, in fact, there's quite a few people over there in that part of this park. So I'm going to go see what all the fuss is about. Oh. So I know why everyone's here now. And I've made it onto one of the boats that transports tourists and locals, if locals want to take it, but mostly tourists here. Oh wow, look at that. Woo wee. And egrets, if they, uh, if they want to take a trip on the boat. Pretty sure he didn't buy a ticket though. That's an added bonus of taking the boat. And another bonus of cleaning up the lake and creating all these parks around the lake and is that locals and tourists like me have another place to visit here in Salmon, another beautiful place. There's already so many beautiful places in Salmon. Now this is just another one to add to that long list. There's another one, another one. Love it. So that was my boat ride on Yundang Hu, Yundang Lake. And that's the end of my day here at Yundang Lake. What do you think? Would you like to pay a visit to this lake here in Xiamen? I mean, surely, surely you do, because it's so beautiful. I hope I've shown you how beautiful this lake is. And Xiamen also has so many other amazing places. So if you've never been before, I highly recommend it because it is brilliant. Most chilled out city in China, maybe the world. <laughs>